Hi, my name is Vera Klute and um, I'm going to show today uh, the process of uh, making a small, a small sculpture that could be cast as a, um, as a small addition. It all started with a body of work I've been doing uh, during lockdown and um, I found myself just uh, looking out the window more. Obviously I haven't been anywhere in months so I've, uh, I've been looking at people around here and reading their faces and trying to, trying to figure out uh, what we're at, how, how are other people feeling about this uh, pandemic, is this the end of the world or are people relaxed about it, are they, are they okay about it. Um, it's very much for me like um, I'm a bit scared of flying and if I'm on an airplane and there's turbulence I look at the flight attendants and try to read their faces see see what they are thinking so in a way i've been doing the same with the the people outside um going to the shops and uh, walking in the park and um so i've made this series of i have five heads now i'm going to make a sixth one today and um they're not meant as portraits it's more like a more like a study of their expressions what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a, a head out of wax um, similar to these. I've done a few of these before and um, then I'm going to make a very simple one piece silicone mold around it and um, cast the finished head in jessamineite, which would be this is sort of the finished product. So um, for the obvious reason that wax isn't very durable, it's a great modeling material, but um, it, it won't last, it'll melt on a hot summer's day. So the jessamineite is just a plastic and acrylic comp compound, which is durable. And um, I think it's got a nice look. It, it looks almost like a bronze, um, but it's a DIY version. I like her face.
Yeah, you do spend you spend a lot of time with that person, modeling them. Sometimes it's it's a bit weird. I feel a bit strange when they walk past me in the street. Um, like I shouldn't have been doing this. <laughs> um, yeah. I think a lot of people look grumpy, and I know on the news they or maybe not on the news in programs they said oh people are getting together and you know um, there's a sense of community I found the opposite was too I found people were looking really grumpy and um, I think I was one of them I think I was always the one looking behind me if the people are getting close in the queue or whatever do you know um, I didn't I didn't find there was a friendly atmosphere but then again, I think most people they just look they look a bit grumpy when they when they walk in the streets and walk to the shops. This lady definitely looks worried, but I don't think she's worried about the pandemic. She looks more <laughs> angry about something else. Not sure. Alright, so um I th I think I'm there. Um that's her there. So she's looking a bit down, a bit tilted to the side. Um, well, I think she's good to go. She doesn't exactly look like the woman I had in mind first, but um, as I said, it's kind of the expression I'm after, and I think I think I got that more or less. A little bit more here. I want her slightly clenching her jaw. And um, yeah, so the next step is um, to make a, um, a really simple silicone mold. So I'll just um, basically submerge the entire head in silicone, wait for it to harden out, and then I'll cut her out of it. And then I can take that and fill it up with jasmine eye. So that's the plan. The next step is to do a really simple one piece silicone mold um, and I've just made a little container that I'm going to push here into the uh, clay just so that the silicone doesn't run out at the bottom and um, yeah I'm just going to brush it on her face to avoid bubbles and um, I am using a clear silicone which is actually a special effect silicone, but um, I find it easier to work with because you can see through it, obviously. If it's not mix properly it won't cure so I'm just gonna brush it into all the little undercuts okay so I think I got her covered in there.
Um, so that's done now. Um, this just needs to cure for maybe an hour and a half or two hours, and then I can take the uh, plastic off, and it'll be one solid block of silicone, and I can cut out the little head then. All right, so this is um, one big block of silicone now, and I'm going to try get the um, wax head out of it again. So. So obviously it's open at the bottom now because that's where um, the head was touching the clay. Sticks really well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to get the head out, so I'm cutting, I'm making two cuts with a curvy incision, um, but not all the way through, only halfway through, so I can sort of open it up and close it back together. I'm trying to cut almost all the way into the wax. That's a nice clean cut. That's the nerve wracking part. If I get a really messy edge, then the mold won't um, won't line up properly at the end. So it's kind of you have to cut in there and commit to it and go go for it. If you get a really good mold, then there's barely any touching up to do. surgery. Now I hope that's enough to get it out. Now. Well there she is. The mold looks nice and clean and uh, fits nicely back together I think. So I'm just going to tape it up again and then pour the jasmineite in. There you can see the face on it. <laughs> so if I can barely feel it with my finger, the edge, then it's perfect. So the next stage is the jasmineite, um, which I'm going to mix up here and then pour in while well, I brush it in first so I don't get any bubbles on the surface and then I'm going to pour it all the way to the top and wait for it to harden out and then hopefully I'll have a, I'll have a nice head in there afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to mix up the jasmineite and... Um, I'm going to use the AC200, which is um, slightly softer than the more common AC100. I mix up two, two parts of powder with one part of the liquid. And then I'm just going to put a dollop of pigment in. Not sure how much. I've mixed the jasmine out and it's looking nice and black. Um, I'm going to pour in a little bit, brush it all around so I don't have any bubbles on the surface later on. And um, then I'm going to pour in the rest and hopefully it'll be enough. trick is to get as much of the surface covered 
before I pour it in because I don't want any little air bubbles forming on the surface if they're in the middle I don't mind but I don't want them visible I'm gonna pour a bit more in and swirl it around a bit again just so I don't get lots of air bubbles so it looks like everything is nicely coated inside and let's see if I have enough to fill it up okay I'm gonna leave this now and um, let it harden out it'll take about an hour and a half or two and um, yeah hopefully I'll have a nice head coming out of that then Now, yeah, that's all, that's all hard now, so I'm gonna just uh, try get it out now without breaking anything. It's always a surprise to see what's in there. I mean, I kind of know what to expect, but um, you still hope for the best. Same again. Silicone stuck in her eye. Um, so I've just given her a little wash to get some um, bits of wax off that were stuck in the mold. And um, I'm just going to check the lines of the seams now to see if anything needs tidying up. And um, the jessamonite is really soft, so you can just cut it with a knife. Um. The surface is very matte now, and I think you can't see that much detail on it. So I'm going to brush on some wax to sort of give her a nice sheen. So it doesn't go shiny straight away. I'll have to wait for the wax to sort of dry and then buff it up. Just like polishing shoes. But in the meantime, I'm going to put some felt on the on the bottom here on the cut off part that doesn't look very nice. I guess, uh, though it's not a portrait, um, when you make a face, it's always just as much about yourself as it is about the other person. So, so whatever I've put in there is kind of looking back at me now. Let's see what she looks like on her little block. She's not toppling over, that's good. Yeah, I think she looks good. So yeah, this is how I, um, I make these little heads and um, I could go on and make a small edition of this now. And um, yeah just wanted people to see that it's not rocket science to make these things i can do everything at home order everything in and yeah 
give it a go if you feel like it.